Hi, this is Pumpkin Creek Primitives. I'm Bobby. This is floss tube number 42. It is June 6, 2021, and this is a channel about cross stitch, my Etsy shop, and everything fur baby. I hope you guys aren't gonna see the shake in this and I am like really close I'm doing this on my new iPad Pro and ugh, I needed to get the big tripod that's downstairs and bring it up here and put you guys on the other side of the desk so that you guys aren't this close to me it's so close um okay so it's gonna be a little weird sorry I don't see and I think maybe you guys are seeing more than what I see in my like picture things I don't know excuse me and now the weird thing is I need to look at my red dot to look like I'm looking straight and now my eyeballs don't want to I mean I can't win that's fine oh I had a lazy week um i started the new diet on tuesday and i think between it and the toothache i was just so tired and exhausted i didn't want to do anything i didn't stitch and do anything um i didn't stitch until i think friday at lunch i stitched a little and then i did nothing friday night it was so bad i was supposed to have two starts for my mother's birthday on friday i totally spaced out totally forgot that they existed um, so Saturday and today I got caught up on some of the stitching that I had wanted to do and had to do some, I was supposed to be at a wedding right now, but, um, I just had so much to do and we had company last night, um, that was unex it, not unexpected. I wasn't expecting the wife to come over and I'm so glad she did cause I love her to death. So that took hours out of my day of when things I was supposed to be getting caught up on. <laughs> So, um, Chad catered a wedding. It's also a good friend of his and I was supposed to go and Chad let me bow out, which was wonderfully sweet of him. And I hope they don't get upset that I didn't go. But, um, one of the reasons also I didn't go is, um, Jasper had a new friend come over and if I can find any usable, <laughs> video um i will put it here jasper 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 okay so that's turtle and turtle is so cute and so sweet and turtle's awesome turtle plays different than the other puppies that jasper has played with turtle doesn't want to be ran on top of rolled <laughs> fight like wrestlers um and I think turtle kept telling Jasper get out of my face get out of my face get out of my face and then my dog don't listen so where I think the boys made a mistake is they should not have been playing ball with one ball with those two um Jasper's super submissive but he just wants to play that's all he wants to do well that's also misunderstood sometimes 
So when Turtle had the ball and was coming back, Jasper was probably up around his mouth trying to play, trying to possibly take the ball, but not in an aggressive way, just because Jasper and Frodo literally like, not bite, but like hang on and get all up in each other's mouth. It's the weirdest. They've done it since they were puppy, puppies. I mean, they're still puppies, but it's it's really weird. It's, it's really weird. <laughs> so um, that being said, Jasper got bit yesterday. It's the first, like, he's never had a dog, like, and I don't want to say it was an attack, because it, it really, it wasn't, but he's never even had a dog growl at him, so much less, um, lash out at him, and he got, it was just one little small puncture wound. We've been putting what's called, I guess, is blue lotion, and it's a thing for horses, and, and, um, the buddy was over here. I mean, he's had hunting dogs his whole life, and when you're out there, hunting with boars and stuff dogs get cut bad um with boars it's terrible it's terrible it's terrible so he ran home he took turtle home he ran home he's just right down the street came back and brought us the blue the blue lotion so now jasper currently looks like he's in a punk rock band with a really cool purple stripe <laughs> down his side but it was a very small like it didn't even bleed that's how small the puncture wound was a zinny bleed um but you could still see it still got some meat there um, and it probably would, if Jasper had hair, he probably wouldn't have, you know, got him at all, but he did. And I will tell you, my dog had his little feelings hurt so bad and I'm sure it didn't feel great. He screamed and cried like he was being murdered and the bite happened and they immediately were apart. It wasn't like they were tangled up. Jasper did not try in any way to attack back because he's submissive. He screamed crazy, ran to me, screaming crazy, you know, at my feet. Did not run to his dad. He ran to his mama, which I thought was funny. Screaming to death and I'm sitting there trying, you you know, trying to check him over, but, you know, politely. You don't want to be like, what the hell happened to my dog? And I couldn't find anything at first and I had a little bit of blood on my finger, but it was like watered down. I thought it actually came from like his mouth. Um, but no, I guess it had when I wiped, had wiped up or whatever. Cause it's right, um, right behind his front leg, which is great. Cause he can't get to it and lick, which is good. Um, and again, it's not that bad, but y'all, it broke my heart, him yelping and screaming and it took, <laughs> He is sitting at my feet, and I'm telling you, it took a good minute for us to calm his drama queen ass down to where he stopped yipping. And I'm sure neighbors could hear it from a mile, and I'm sure they were like, what the hell is going on over there? So, my poor baby. It's, I mean, poor baby. But Turtle, I mean, I hate it. And Turtle will come over again, um, but what will happen is... Um, Uh, Chad's buddy said he will put a muzzle on Turtle when Turtle comes back. And that way they can still play and stuff. But if Turtle gets a little upset, then he can't he can't hurt Jasper. Because we know Jasper ain't going to bite back. <laughs> Jasper, so, man, it hurt his little feelings. But then when I, I immediately, um, we put him in his kennel to wait for um, Chad's buddy to come back with the blue lotion. And, um... When I let Jasper go back outside, when he came back and of course didn't have turtle, he was looking for turtle. Like he's looking like, where's he at? I thought there was somebody here for me to play. I mean, oh, he's heartbreaking guys. He just wants to play. My little soft puppy. Oh, he's precious. I can't help it. Okay. That was enough about Jasper. I got other news later puppy related that'll be interesting so let's go with we have no we had no giveaway and the last giveaway winner I because like I said I did nothing all week I mean I did my orders and I think everybody's on vacation my orders were very low thank you Jesus because I did not have the energy to do anything um but I mean I'm 8.6 pounds down and this is day five is that true Mon no, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. No, I'm day six. It's Sunday. Day six. Um, day six, and I'm down 
8.6 pounds. So I'm killing it. Um, and I'll talk more about that later because some of you don't give a crap. And then I've got a whole big thing um, that'll smush together. Whatever. Anyway, so I got some quilting stuff up first. Well, again, like I tell y'all every time, I don't really use this all the time for quilting. And I don't know, did I show this? Did this come in this week? Did I show this last time? I don't know. They start all looking the same. So this is the Moda. I think this is my Moda. Yeah, this is the Moda Fat Quarter Club. Not the so colorful one. Um, but they are great for background stuff. And then what I don't, what I can't use for backgrounds like this is a completely a quilt. This is a great background. They look like they go every other. <laughs> so that's another good quilt. But a bunch of these in here are good backgrounds uh, for FFOing. So let me toss that. Y'all ain't got no more room in that box no more. Okay, and the other thing I got um, that came in, like, I'm horrible about pre-ordering the crap out of some fat quarter bundles or half yard bundles or whatever. Um, and so, I got this bundle. Curiouser and Curiouser. It's by Tula Pink. I know you cannot see what's in there. I do not want to take the plastic off this. Um, this is definitely quilting stuff. I feel like I'm tilted some, but y'all ain't nothing I can do with it. I think it's rough. I may have to go back to doing it on my phone. No, turn back the right way. So these are what the fabric looks like. And I think I'm going to go, well, crap. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't go back. <laughs> go back. Okay. See if I can hold this up without switching the page. So this one right here, I am 100% buying like a yard or two of that because can you even? It is gorgeous. I love it. Ooh, and even the one above it's like crazy. I love that. So, they're cute. I like them. Some crazy cats in the middle. I'm sure it's supposed to be Chester, but he don't look nothing like Chester. I mean, it's some odd stuff. <laughs> I like it though. I like Tula Pink. She's got some out there stuff, but it's fine. I'm just gonna set that aside. Um, I did not. Oh, that's right. Let me put wrap on my list because remember, I think I picked it for next week already, didn't I? Y'all can't remember nothing from one day to the next. This is starting to get a little scary. Yeah, okay. I did. We good. Okay, still on personal haul. So, apparently I, not apparently, I, well, no, yeah, apparently I am now addicted to uh, Forbidden Fiber Co. <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help it. So, I, is this really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How did I get twelve? I don't know what happened. I have 12 colors here. I don't know. It's part of the, I thought we were only supposed to get 10 colors in the um, monthly club. I don't know. Um, I, well, blah, blah, blah. all the words. Bobby, I had already gotten some of this. One of Fred. Oh, that, this does not show good. Oh. I wonder if it's my, do I have a good white background? Probably not, because why would I? Um, do I have any copy paper? Why does it work? Yeah, that is not, I hope that shows up better when I look at, back at it. That shows up terrible. This is like a purple. Looks all muddy, muddy. Anywho, sorry, this will take five days if I keep talking about stuff. And this is Fern. Yeah, that one looks fine. Maybe it's just that one. Frankincense. Winter Wheat. That one's pretty. Vintage Ornament. Ooh. And then, I don't know what O-O-A-K is. Sweet Marcella. I wonder if this came out of one of her kits. 
um, powder. Whew, ladybug, that is gorgeous red. That is very schoolhouse red on crack. That's not, why would on crack make it seem better? How about <laughs> schoolhouse red on steroids? That's the correct drug. Caviar, it's like a greenish black. Windjammer, which I had gotten some of these, but I'm telling you, this speckled, I cannot with that. It is gorgeous. I mean, you see it in yarn all the time. You do not see it with floss. I love it. This says O-O-A-K also, and it's granite. So this must have been in a box or it's a something. And this one is Panamine. Nope, just kidding. It's pandemic. I just can't read. Look over it. Just in my defense, there was words behind it. Ugh. So beautiful. So yeah, so I'm gonna have to have to put these on my forbidden fiber ring now that I'm starting to get a ton of these along with the stitch me stuff. Love it. Love it. Still looking at the wrong place. It's fine. Okay, and my next haul, I gotta take the pattern out, is Linux stitches. I like sorry I'm doing stuff down here and I hope you can't see it take all the goodies out I didn't go through the goodies y'all I, I was no joke when I said okay this is everybody that contributed This bag is gorgeous. It's fireflies or lightning bugs as we call them. <laughs> they are so cute. This fabric is amazing. I love it. And so the pattern by, um, I don't know if it's in my studio crates or my studio crates, but um, that's it. How cute, how cute, I love it. And I love that I can show it without giving away. All right, and then Rebel Stitcher, Colleen. She did, Colleen, sorry, I'm gonna take this off and flip this to the back side of your card just so that we can see it better, but how cute is that? Man, that's cute. And then Rebel. And then we've got some cold brew iced tea, which I can't have right now. We have some fruit leather, which looks really good, which we've gotten before and it is really good. Can't have that right now. <laughs> and then I really wanna try this really, really bad. It's a honey stinger waffle, salted caramel. I can't eat that right now. That's okay, it ain't gonna go bad. And then we got a steam ripper. Or maybe I just got a steam ripper because they know I need it. <sighs> I frog everything. Um, Oh, it looks really good. It's gluten free. That's cool. Let's see what the carbs are. Yeah. That's going back in the goodie bag to save for another day. Like I said, it's okay. All right. Let's set that out the way. Put these back in the bag, maybe. Okay. I guess I'll just go ahead and put everything back in there. I just keep it together. Sorry, talking to myself. All right. So now that is all personal. Again, I ain't bought nothing. It's crazy. I'm gonna try not to keep belching the salad I had. Um, but then I got, I got some happy mail. And again, I hope I'm not showing anything because I can't tell if this is actually like the view that I'm going to have. You guys are going to be all up in my face or if there's something different. But I had, um, what did I do with the, oh, I do have to show this part. 
So she put a great sticker. Oh no, she printed that out. Ooh, girl, what kind of printer you got? Or do you buy paper like that? I'm not gonna show y'all my message. Hey, I'm making origami. <laughs> Look at, I thought it was a sticker. Y'all, it is not. Is this the stationery you bought? Cause I need to know where you got this from, Terry. Um, yeah, so Terry made me a little bookmark and she'd not made a bookmark before and she did an amazing job at it, can I just say. Um, I wouldn't know where to start with one, but can we even? Ah, <laughs> I love it so much. Thank you so, so much. I love it. I love it. Oh, I love it. And it's been hard. I've been keeping everything together for a week because um, I didn't want to get anything um, lost or messed up before my video and I could show it off. So then, so thank you very much, Terry, which I already say, reached out. So thank you to everybody. But, you know. um, then I got a little goodie package from my girl, Angela. And look how beautiful that card is. Isn't that pretty? And she sent me a bunch of little goodies. And this came all the way from Ireland. So these little floss guys, look how cute they are. Ah, I love them. And then I got a little, a little charm, a little cat in a teacup. How cute is that? And I got, and she got this from Just So Heavenly. But look at that little needle minder. This is like the cutest little bee. He's so little, he's so cute. And they do the little button covers. So cute. And I reached out to her and said thank you too because this is so sweet. So sweet. Sorry. Gathering them and putting them back in my fun little card. I love having you know. It makes you so happy. Especially when you don't know it's coming and you're not expecting it and you're just like, what? Somebody sent me something? Okay. So. Done with personal haul. Let's start some whippies or let's do new starts let's do new starts first they're also whips but so this is a new start and i'm not okay wait is everything i have just kidding everything i have is a new start <laughs> except for the last project <laughs> Jeez. oh wait i'm missing one wait no i'm not i'm just kidding okay so like i said i forgot I hope this does not shake. I'm putting my feet back up underneath this table. Um, I forgot to do my mom's <laughs> birthday starts. Yeah, you know. So this was one of them. Token of love. Bert. Brenda Gervais. Um, and I started using, I bought some of these. S Ward Designs on Etsy. Um, I think I didn't buy the right ones though. That's okay. I mean, I did buy some for like the big ass multi-year projects and those are what I wanted. But I think I was looking for the ones that has the calendar where you circle or fill in how many days you worked on it. And the ones I got was how many stitches you put in it each month. But they'll be fine. I'll have to order those other cards. Yeah, that's just me not paying attention to what I was doing. That's fine. All right, so this is on Fortnite Fabric, 18 count, Caravan Tan. And that's the other thing is these look really good to just be like have a cheat sheet. And here's where I got. Not much. Not much at all. But, 
more than what I got on some. <laughs> this one was really hard to stop working on today. Um, I really liked it. Any, I'm telling you, any of these motif ones, I'm just a sucker for Quaker. I can't help it. Any of these motifs, I just don't want to stop them. I mean, the struggle is real on those. I love it. I don't think I have anything, enough of a start on anything for a good screen grab. So, that should be interesting. All right, so that was number one on Mom's birthday start. And then number two was Country Cottage Needleworks. Maybe. This one. And I'm doing it. Don't have a project card on it because that didn't dawn on me till today. And this one actually started last night. It's 14 count Ada. It's that artiste. Uh, it's Zweigert antique blue that Hobby Lobby has. Um, Cause this project, I mean, it doesn't matter. If I want to stitch on that, I'll stitch on that. But this project was kitted up back when I first started. So not much going on here. I have like just enough fabric to do this. <laughs> That's brown. A lot of brown, <laughs> but I mean, it's, it's a start. And so that was the whole point. It was just a birthday start, right? It wasn't a birthday finish. It wasn't a birthday. Let's stitch all day. It's just a birthday start. And that's what I did. Um, I hope to get this one because this will actually go to her. I don't know about the token. I mean, okay. So I have to remind myself that if I'm in love with a pattern, just because I give it to my parents doesn't mean it's never coming back to me, right? I know it's a morbid thought, but I'm just saying. So this one I definitely want to give her for Christmas. I hope I can finish it <laughs> before Christmas. I mean, it's, they're fast stitches. Um, you feel like you're doing the same pattern in all of these, like the cottages. Um, and then the token of love. I think I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna make it for like her and my dad's anniversary piece and maybe give it to her in March. Cause it gives me plenty of time to do it and put their initials in it and then the year they were married because it says 1980 and it's got two people's initials and the only thing is like i didn't want to put um my birth year and my initials and her initials because then uh dad did help just saying um so i just thought that was i don't know so then i thought well it can go to work as an anniversary piece that's what i think i'm gonna do that's what i think i'm gonna do okay and of course, I didn't write down any names. I mean, par for the course. We had, and there are a ton of people that are joining in, and I am so sorry if, if I know that you're joining and I don't mention you. I apologize. Um, I know Stacy from Stacy Stitches that's part of my round robin. She is just bought the pattern. Um and is going to start um and then i believe sally who's also doing the round robin she is going to do this stitch along too um i don't think either one of them were planned on actually starting uh yesterday but um the four the four i don't want to say the four main people because that sounds weird anybody can stitch this it's not one of the four people that planned got together and planned um which was myself and Sammy Liz and Memphis Sarah and Leanne. I think she's Leanne Stitches. It's, she's fi uh, Forbidden Fiber Co. Um, we actually got to Zoom on Saturday for a little while. And I am talking about Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. And our hashtag, oh, that looks really good on here. Our hashtag is Halloween at h r h sal i'll put it across here if i remember i don't you know what i'm not gonna put it across here it'll be down in my show notes where it says sal's i'm involved in because i'm not watching this whole video to get to this point <laughs> sorry sorry not sorry 
It takes so long, guys. As long as I ramble, can you imagine me having to listen back to that and then wait for it to do all the other things? Then that's why it takes me so long to get things up. But I didn't get tons done. This is on the first block. This is the, let me hold it. Maybe I should just do my screen grab of this. Let me not peek around the corner. Anywho, it's this one. So I've started some of the rows coming up between the tombstones. Um, yeah, and this is on XG Design Early Halloween 18 count. It looks so different from my Early Halloween that my uh, Quaker Halloween is on, or Halloween Quaker, Halloween Quaker is on by Bela Studios. Um, it's way more darker, but this I think works perfect for this. This was a last minute decision because as you saw two other fabrics last week, keep looking up there two other fabrics last week um this was literally decided i think while i was waiting for sammy or sam to let me in the chat room or the zoom meeting i was like you know what let me see if that fabric i got from her was large enough because i purchased some uh, larger cuts for me personally and it was so that's was one of those last minute decisions man oh man okay now so here's where <laughs> lack of energy lack of everything um on the 31st i did not start my last hashtag man wonderland it happens I just, I kind of, I got busy and I kind of forgot and, um, my girl Mia had her own things going on and so we both just got behind on the ball. So we both started it today. So it, it is, it, it was late. It don't matter. And I did not get 210 stitches in this. Um, I will try to this week and then I'm putting it up. I mean, I will eventually stitch, you guys, this is, I mean, it's a blanket. You needed a yard of fabric. You could not have done this without a yard of fabric. That's what I'm dealing with. So, this is the pattern I'm talking about. It's what we're calling Vertical Alice, because they all are Alice, Alice in Wonderland in some part. So, to distinguish what we were talking about. This is Vertical Alice, and I am not doing all this blue background. Um, I'm not doing it. We decided that that's just too much. <laughs> so, if I can find my start, and if you can even see my start. There's my start. <laughs> and this does not look remotely like either color. That is a light blue. And this is like purpley gray. I guess that the fabric shows up better than the, the light blue. I can't get it to. And then you can't even see the stitches. That's only about 50 stitches. And I, yes, I follow colors. And yes, they look a little puffy, but I don't care. It's fine. So you can't even see it. That definitely won't be a screen grab. <laughs> so I'm hoping to soon get in some of these bright colors because I started with the branches that the, um, oh, and this is Mystic uh, Fabrics Diversity. I think it's 18 counts also. Yep, 18 count. Um, starting on, let me see, if, I don't, I'm not gonna be able to get that that back in let's see did I hold please I don't remember even though I'm doing this on pattern keeper I don't remember if I actually had this on um, might have been saved in my collections on oh I did okay good Oop, wrong way all right, so you guys can see this better. Okay, so I am, okay, why can't I hold anything? Go away. I'm starting off with this, this little branch. Now, the crazy thing, can I make it big? Oh my God, come on. So that's what I'm start. Are you kidding me right now? Technology is not my friend. 
So yeah, I'm starting off with those. Here's the crazy thing. All that is blue. Those are all blue. I thought they would be more like grays and stuff, but no, they're blue. So I got the first handful of colors in that branch. And yes, these are not all the colors that are in those little bit of branches, but look at all those. They're gorgeous. It's not what I was expecting. And the color you guys can't see is DMC 3811, which is that light, light blue. <laughs> so yeah. We'll see. So this is like the first, you know, because it's a lot of confetti. Uh, had it looked like I had more done if we did the blue background because I could have just straight steamrolled that stitching, but it's fine. And this is like a purpley gray. Like it looks nothing like what it's trying to, well, it looks a little bit better there, but not really. Fabric's so hard in real life compared to camera. Okay, and that's the bag that me is putting. All right, so next we've got, I'm sorry, you're just seeing on top of my head. So this is another new start. This is Floss Tube Friends. And I will tell you, I'm, this is the one I've got now is Heather's Punky Pearls. And I am a little concerned because these two ladies are done instead of on Janet's, you know, I put mine here. I really thought it would be cute next to the lady, but the spacing may look a little weird because everybody has flared out dresses. Um, so I'm probably going to look like I smell everybody is like distance themselves from me. So, I mean, it is what it is, but so this is on, 40 count but I think it's an even weave so I do have to say my first time doing 40 count uh thank you Heather for it being an even weave because this was rough at, okay I don't want to say it was rough that's not nice um I counted over at least 10 times because I was terrified like I counted over stuck my pen not my pen, but my needle up through and kind of pulled it and counted like 10 more times to make sure that at least eight out of 10, I got that same number and I did. So I went with it. <laughs> uh, once I got my first stitch, then it was no problem. It was fine. Maybe. How about I go the right direction with the fabric? All right. And so this is Heather's piece. I got a foot. Y'all see that foot? That's a foot. I don't know if y'all can see that foot. <laughs> I don't, I can't tell what I'm doing, but that's a foot. I got one little foot and an ankle in there. So as you can see my spacing from where I am from the um, older lady, um, it'll be interesting, but it's gonna be cute. I like it. And it's not, like I said, I'm gonna try to work on it a little bit like every day to accomplish it. I don't, I should have timed how long it took me just to do that foot. I mean, I can tell you right now, it took me at least 30 minutes or more to count because I was so afraid that I wasn't gonna count over correctly. And that's my biggest fear because it's not math the way I math. Um, I do have to say, even though this is, once I had that first stitch in, it's not a big deal. It's, it's I mean, it's not that difficult. Still not loving stitching over two. It's just not, because there's still a part of your brain that has to like analyze that. And sometimes my brain just got too much going on and like, I. My brain is like, this is a hobby, should not make this hard. So, for me, that's how it is. Um, and for all you that can do 40 count, like, in your sleep, whew, got it. Okay, and the last is, and I, I mean, I didn't even put enough stitches on this to even really show, but at first I thought I wasn't going to have anything to show. <laughs> 
So it's my anniversary piece. And maybe I'll make this my. Is, can y'all see all of that? I hope you can, because I think that's what I'll make as my screen grab. Or do I need to come back with it? I don't know. Anywho, what did I do? Oh, I did a few of these leaves in here. I think I started right here. Came out and then started the purple of the flower. So, um, my anniversary's in September. I'll, I'll be done with this. I mean, this goes to work with me, but I really don't have that much to do, to be honest. Um, the words go really, really fast, so I'm not worried about those. Um, and I'm leaving off those two, those two heavy borders. I'm not putting on there. So, um, cause I would like to give this to my hubby for our anniversary. All right. That was whips and new starts. And now this is just going to be a bunch of talking for a second. I mean, it won't be that long. This will be a very short one. Let me get a drink of water. And my beautiful, for fuck's sake, drink your effing water. And then how am I on time? This is 4 p.m. What time is it? 4.16. Get you drinking. Okay. It's way more noisier than um, <laughs> when I drink a soda, but... No sodas for me right now. Okay, so a little update on the shop real quick and then I got some stitchy updates and it's all over the place. And we'll just finish with the wrap. I mean, why not? All right, so on the shop, I had a bunch of stuff, I don't wanna say a bunch. I had pulled out because a couple of them are could be patriotic. So like I had wanted to get them in the shop this weekend and then with the company and then thinking I was going to a wedding and I just decided why am I putting more listings in Etsy to have to move and redo um, if I'm wanting to slowly leave Etsy I was like why am I doing that okay so nobody may buy this this year <laughs> because they won't be up in time, but it's fine. You guys buy the craziest things all, all year round. So it, I, I'm, I'm not worried, I'm not worried. Um, excuse me, it's a salad. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm not worried. So I just, so what's gonna happen, um, and I know I'm all over the place with my thoughts on this, um, but I'm, I'm really making decisions just as I go and with what, everything that's going on. Um, I am basically just going to restock some stuff um, in my Etsy shop this month. And I will tell you, it probably be this week will be the last restock because what's the point in restocking later if nobody has a chance to buy it for a whole month? That's kind of silly. Um, so any other restockings I do will be, you know, restocked while it's closed for the month of July. And then you'll come back in August. My hopes are that the website will be up and running by August. Um, if not, if it takes me longer to do it, it takes me longer. I'm not putting pressure on myself. Um, my shop is almost like a hobby to me. I'm not trying to become a millionaire. I have a full-time job that actually requires more than 40 hours of me that I've not been given it because I have a shop. So, um, the struggle has been real. Um, and then I started diet. Just throw that into the whole mix. <laughs> um, yeah. So for the next one or two weeks, they'll just be restocks. My restocks probably will not be today. Um, I have some custom order stuff I need to gather because I think some stuff have come in um, and I need to notify those people do some custom orders and then pack the orders that came in over the weekend. I am off half days Monday through Thursday this week because I don't know why I'm looking up. There's a green dot up there. Like, so I probably look like I'm staring up. Sorry. 
So Monday through Thursday this week, I get off at noon every day. And I mean, it's more than half days because I go in at seven, but whatever. So um, I'm gonna leave at noon and come home to be able to let my dog out because my husband is in training during the day. And normally when he's in training during the day, they barely do eight hours. But this is like a huge week long training thing. This is huge deal. And they're supposed to be there 10 plus hours. We knew Jasper couldn't. I'm not saying he couldn't last in the kennel for 10 plus hours, but God, why would I want to do that to that poor child? He had a rough day yesterday. <laughs> He did not need, um, which this was planned before we knew anything was going to happen yesterday, but he, in four days in a row, that's, that's tough on a, on a pup that's used to somebody being here almost all the time, um, because we have opposite schedules. So it's either one of us or both of us is what he's used to. So, um, that will allow me to get some restocks done. It allow me to go ahead and get maybe a lot of stitching done that I would like to get done because when I'm closed in July, I will still get stitching stuff done, but a lot of that's got to be focused on website. So um, it may be about as much stitching as I've been doing. Not like it's going to be um, extra, extra stitching, which hopefully, because I mean, I don't care about this, but the way I plan it is I'm going to leave at noon, come home, let that baby out to go to the bathroom. If it's nice and not too hot, let him be outside for a little while which he could probably only candle an hour if it's hot and I'll have to bring him back in and wait till it cools down. Um, and throw a ball. With, I won't throw a ball with him in the heat of the day though, because ugh, it's, it wears him out. Um, but we always do that at dusk is when we throw a ball. He may be, hopefully he's not traumatized by the ball. We hadn't thrown balls since that happened yesterday. So, cause it's been raining all day here. So, oh, hopefully, hopefully it's okay. <laughs> I mean, he's fine. He's got his feelings hurt. He's fine. Um, so, I plan on, once I get home, pretending I'm still at work and use that as like stitchy time. And then when I am, I mean, unless I just feel like I don't want to stitch or whatever. And then at the four o'clock when I would normally be getting in my car from work is when I'll start packing orders and doing shop stuff through. Um, but then that way I can start an hour earlier so then I can end an hour earlier and hopefully end at like eight o'clock so that me and Chad can like watch TV and stuff before we go to bed. Um, that's the plan. I hope it sticks that way. Except for Thursday, a little different plan. So on Thursday, gotta come, let the dog out, do all the things, and then get back in my car and go to, you know, 10 minutes down the road at 2.45 and have a root canal. I know y'all are so jealous right now. Um, the tooth that was hurting needs a root canal. I also need a bunch of crown work. Um, it was huge anxiety for me to go to the dentist office. They did not clean my teeth or anything because this was just like a consultation on. I got a toothache and what we're doing. So we got a big plan. It's going to cost me a ton of damn money, but it's okay. It needs to be done. Teeth health is very important and I know this, but still anxiety. So the root canal, I'm told, is totally different than like when they do crowns. I had a horrible time with my inner ear situation when they did a crown. I only have one crown. And when they did a crown, them removing that old silver filling, getting out the cavity that was underneath it, and all the things they had to do, that drill sounded like they were mined for oil or rock. If you've ever seen those, the, I don't know, jackhammers. That's what they felt like they were doing in my mouth. I gripped that chair so hard. I was white knuckling it. Felt like my feet were flipping up over my head. I mean, it was, oh, that, it was terrible. I'm not worried about pain. Like pain, I deal with pain. Pain's no big deal. That sensation of feeling like you are flipping upside down, going to feel like you're going to pass out. It's terrible. It's terrible. Um, so, because that literally is vibrating through your whole head. And when you have inner ear issues, guess what? It's being vibrated. Oh, it's, God, it's terrible. I don't even want to think about it. Ugh. So, um, I am told that with the root canal, it's a different little drill. It's a little smaller situation. It's not quite that. It's, it's like that. <laughs> But they're just going to do a little hole. They clean everything out. And then they caulk it. I mean, I don't know what the technical term is. But that's what I... It's like caulk. They're going to fill it with caulk. Um, 
so yeah so after that um then they put a crown on it but then in july um the day after my mom's breast cancer surgery and the day before hogwarts or frogwarts sorry frogwarts year two um i am going to get all my upper like i have like four three crowns to do up top so I'm gonna get those done, but I'm getting sedation dentistry. They're gonna put my ass to sleep and I'm not gonna know anything happened. And, nope, oh, hi, you just plopped down on my feet, Skeeter. Um, so yeah, I'm like, I gotta get it done. And then I'm gonna wait till the following year to get my bottom because they're not emergency, but my teeth are starting to crack and it's from those old ass fillings that I've had that are supposed to last 10 years and I've had them in my mouth for 30. So, is what it is. Um, but my front teeth look good, so that's good. No cavities, nothing going on in the front, so that's good. Um, speaking of Frogwarts, year two, nice segue. I've watched the Harry Potter movies because I don't know crap about it. Although I'm finding I knew more about it than I realized. Um, it took me three nights to watch the first one. I don't know. I was tired. I told you I was tired. Hey, buddy. So, give him a little, little petty, buddy. A little scratchy, scratchy on his little head. Um, but now I'm on Goblet of Fire. Is that true? Is that the one with Patterson in it? Which I literally was like, when the hell was like this dude in Harry Potter? No idea. Robert Patterson was in Harry Potter, but he is. But apparently it's just this one. So, okay. Um, and I don't know the dates. Is that pre-Twilight? It's probably pre-Twilight. He doesn't look old enough yet. I don't know. It's not important. <laughs> I was just shocked. I was like, oh, okay. Um, and he looked cute in this. I don't, See, I didn't think he was all that hot. Okay, I'm going to get hate mail. I didn't think he was all that hot in Twilight. Sorry, I'm way more Jacob, but whatever. Um, <laughs> and that's from reading the books. So, like... Watching the movie, it's the same. I mean, Jake is like a baby in the first one if you watch the movies. And then by the next one, you're like, damn, what happened to you over summer? So, um, but reading the books, I was always way more um, Jacob. Because, am I, is that even the right name? Like, all of a sudden, like, I started thinking versus Edward. Um it's too clingy, needy. He's like a, that's a bad toxic relationship. I don't, it's not good. So, um, anyway, so I'm watching the movies. I know this is only year two and that was really the only one, which is, I guess is the Chamber of Secrets was the only one that I really needed to probably watch just to, to feel like I was remotely caught up to what everybody else probably in the retreat is going to know. But, um, now I feel like I got to watch them all. So I'm going to watch them all. And then hopefully, right before the treat, I'll probably watch Chamber of Secrets again. <laughs> because I obviously have seen these before because I knew things that were going to happen. I knew things about them. And I'm like, I don't remember seeing these, but I guess I did. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. And we got our list of what we need to... Um, the little, what's it called? I can't think of it. Little stitching challenges. Um, and they're kind of, I guess, if you're in one of those like magical stitches and those things, they get them all the time. Trying to find um, so something in your stash that fits a certain type thing. So um, I have a pattern that fits. There's about 22, I think. I have a pattern that fits like 12. So <laughs> one pattern. And it will take forever to, uh, to stitch. So I don't have to worry about it. All right, so a little bit of additional personal news. Jasper may be getting a little brother. It's a puppy. It's not a human. No. <laughs> um, so, a random story. When I was driving home the other night, I guess this was... Was it on my mom's birthday? Was it Friday? No, it was Thursday because I told people at work. It was Thursday. So when I was driving home, talking to my parents, and Chad beeped in, and he was like, 
had stuff to say blah 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 and I was like all right talking to my parents okay see you when I get home he knew where I was I was gonna be home in like 10 minutes he then calls me like right back I'm like what the hell so I told my parents hold on a second and I get on there and I was like yo you know where I'm like I'm gonna see you in five minutes he's like did you happen to see um Larry which he's the breeder did you happen to see his um Facebook post with the little liver roan male which is Jasper's coloring he's a liver roan GSP German Shorty Pointer um the liver roan male that he's got that's ready to go and I was like no I was at work I was not on Facebook so no um and I said I'll look at it when I get home and we'll talk about it and so when I got home I you know looked at it do not get me wrong this puppy here I'll show you this puppy is the cutest little puppy ever because all puppies are cute am I right but I um he's just I mean I don't want to sound ugly but he is just not he he looks a little sleepy I mean he's so cute do not get me wrong all puppies I mean look at he's so cute Jasper does not have, he doesn't have as much white on his face. He does not have as many big brown spots. He's more of, because all this white will start filling in darker. Um, and he's got a little heart though. But he's cute. I and mean, then his tail's like really white. Whereas Jasper just has the tip as white. Um, and he's a super cute puppy. Do not get me wrong. I just wasn't. Jasper's so handsome. <laughs> and I just, and this one's my puppy. So I'm like think so so I thought and this puppy is the whole reason Chad even brought up the puppy is because he is out of a litter from Rex and Rex is um see now that I have my phone free I can show you guys all kinds of stuff I just had a meal reminder why well, shouldn't have a meal reminder is it already time uh-oh uh-oh please pause I have to eat while I do this. I'm sorry, but you cannot go past three hours. And I almost jacked up. But as I was saying, when we got Jasper, we went to see Jasper for the first time when he was like three weeks old. We saw one of his other dogs. This is not from Jasper's line at all. This is Rex. Rex is gorgeous. And I knew I wanted a dog out of Rex and I wanted one out of Gertie. That's Miss Gertie. Well, I swear, I said, if you ever breed those two, because Gertie's Jasper's great aunt, whatever, in human world. I don't know really what they would be considered in dog world. Um, and he like bred them immediately and like said, hey, they, you know, they're going to have puppies. And I was like, I have a six month old dog. Like I cannot get another puppy right now. So I had to decline. Well... Greta got, is it mastocytis? I'm not really sure what it's the infection in their milk ducts and everything. And she passed away. Um, and super sad because Greta was like one of my faves. I love Greta. Um, that's Jasper's granddaddy. He's, hi Ski. Yes, we all know you. Um, Ski, let's not get where we have our butt because this is like really close today. Let's just scoot over there. Okay. So that's Jasper's granddaddy who's like six time bird champion, whatever, whatever. Um, and there's baby Jasper. <laughs> He's so cute. I cannot with this. Look, he was in a sweater. <laughs> I mean, our dog's soft, whatever. Uh, so, um, I'm very, oh wait, there's one other thing I could show y'all. So I, this puppy was out of Rex. And so I was like, oh God, there's another Jasper. I can't with this. I'm a y'all guy. This is terrible. I should not have my phone. I want to show y'all every photo I have. There's Jasper, his granddaddy. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Okay. So Jasper is out of Scotty's. I'm going the wrong direction. Out of Scotty's daughter, which is named Lucy. Am I going the wrong direction? What am I doing? I am... So, this is Miss Lucy, and those are all of her 10 puppies. Jasper's in there somewhere. 
and um, Lucy is liver and white. So the fact that Rex is liver roan and her dad is liver roan, we don't know odds of liver roan puppies, you know, because with this litter where we picked Jasper, because we wanted a male liver roan, there were only three liver roans, one was a male. So boom, we had Jasper done. So I asked who the mom was of this, this little pup because he didn't say, and he said Phoebe. I don't know who Phoebe is. I don't, I don't know. I didn't say, I don't know that bitch. <laughs> so I don't know. So I was like, hey, do you have any future plans for Rex? And he said, actually, I have a litter due today. Like, right? And I was like, oh, dang. Okay. Um, who's the mom? He's like, oh, my Lucy. That's Jasper's mama. I looked at Chad and I was like, oh, Chad, this is a sign. This has to be a sign. The only better pairing I can imagine to get a puppy from if I couldn't have Greta and Rex, which is never going to happen because Greta is no longer with us, would be Jasper's mom, Lucy and Rex. So she had them yesterday. She had, let me see what the text says. She had, this is so handy. <laughs> she had eight. And we think that's all because we, we think she's done. She only had two males and six females. Now, we were told on... Thursday because I think I sent him he takes PayPal now which he did not before I wrote him a check before he takes PayPal so I PayPal'd him that deposit faster than you could say what and we were told that there was two people ahead of me that both wanted male liver rones so with this news had thank God he had put um and my husband is FaceTiming me Hold on, please. I'm in the middle of recording and I'm still recording. What's going on? <laughs> Are you sure? I'm almost done. Can I call you back? Oh, that's so pretty. Hey guys, you want to see this venue? Look how beautiful that is. That's so pretty. Oh, I love it. That's nice. Bye. All right, I love you. Bye. Bye. Okay, so that's the other thing, bad thing about the phone. All right, I probably should all edit that out, but you know me, <laughs> I ain't gonna. <laughs> so, um, thankfully he said quick news before I had read. He said she had eight today, two males and six females. So I was immediately bummed, right? Because we were told two people ahead of us wanted male of our own, so we would not get anything. So he just said, I can't tell the color yet because it takes a few days before them to tell whether they are going to be liver and white or whether they will be liver road. Um, by the way, first pick male, they want liver and white. So that just bumps somebody off. That sounded bad. If these two males are both liver road, we are getting a puppy towards the end of July. But I won't know for a couple days. So excited. So excited. I mean, we've been talking about it for like, I mean, we started, I mean, we talked about it from the moment we got Jasper. We just knew we wanted him to be at least a year. So we got talking about it seriously when he, after he turned a year and we just kept being like, oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. And I just felt like all the stars aligned like crazy because of the fact, what are the odds that Chad, out of all the litters that he's had between January and now, Chad picks that little guy to show me which then leads me to question to find out about a litter that's due didn't happen that day but do the day I'm actually calling from the best pair ever so I'm very excited sorry I gotta take another bite of this oh good here's my honey chili cranberry nut bar it's got like a little peppery taste to it it's good though um yeah so I may have a puppy. I'm so excited. I was going to talk about something about Optavia, but I've got videos. I already know that. I already told you weight loss. 
I don't really think there's anything else to say about it yet. You can see it in my other more dense version. I got a cat's about to walk in front of Who's sniffing? Okay. Oh, we're going to stretch. I don't know if y'all can see any of this. <laughs> He's stretching. Keep going. <laughs> or just show your face. All right. We're going to leave with wrap. <laughs> and ski. Oh, stretching. Big stretches. I know. Oh, I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> I got skunk tails, what that looked like. Oh, my precious Bobby. All right. I want y'all buck naked. And I didn't listen to this again, so y'all have to excuse me. I can't really. Of course, I can't rap anyways. But I want y'all butt naked while y'all cooking up my dope. All right. That's Master P, if any of y'all don't know. Um, it's from Ghetto D, which the album was Ghetto D. Um, and here's the explanation. And if y'all are new, sorry, I read out of this book. All right. It is best that you remove all your clothing while in the kitchen so you aren't tempted to take the crack cocaine you're making for yourself and so that no one will wrongfully accuse you of doing so since you will have no pockets. Also, if you are a female with an attractive body, you will be also be nice to look at. Anyways, um, yeah, I have that. CD, or I did, <laughs> back in the day. Um, oops. <laughs> um, yeah, I actually like that song. It's a little weird, but whatevs. Um, it's a good business plan. It makes sense. You don't want people stealing what they're doing. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, all right, I hope everybody has a wonderful, stitchy week. And, um, my, oh, I know what I was going to say about the Optavia. So I'm smooshing a bunch of stuff together just when I'm trying stuff so that people know, um, when I try something new, I've just about tried everything new, but I am going to go to be a different playlist so you don't have to watch it if you're not interested. It will go up sometime mid next week because I it will not be done filming until my weigh-in on Tuesday morning when I have my final numbers for a week. So then it'll take me, um, thankfully, since I'm having half days, I'll be able to edit that. Possibly that, oh, I may be able to edit that day when I get here. And it may be up Tuesday evening. Oh, that'd be nice. We'll see. Uh, I shouldn't be, it's not going to be as long as, well, that's not true. Like the first video is 30 minutes. It'll probably be about an hour. Oh, I just like to talk, you know. All right, again, I'll get this goodbye out at some point. Hope you guys have a wonderful stitchy week, and I will see you guys on the flip side. Bye.